Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to TCG Worlds 2017. Now, as you can see, today we are featuring another of the Burning Shadows GXs, which is Neuvern GX. Now, this Pokemon has caught the attention of many people because of its similarity to a popular archetype in Seismitoad Giratina, where you block item cards and you block special energy. Well, Neuvern GX, being a stage 1 with 200 with 200 HP does essentially the same thing as they do. This turret hits for 50 damage, which is 20 more than Seismitoad, and doesn't let your opponent play item cards during their next turn. And Sonic Volume deals 120 damage, and your opponent cannot play special energy cards from their hand during their next turn. So both of those attacks are pretty, pretty good. Um, Individually or combined, they've been very popular or very strong archetypes. However, Neuvern does have a couple of things not going for it. Um, the Retreat Gust is really good, it doesn't have a Retreat Gust. The HP is really nice. The typing is pretty much irrelevant. There aren't any Pokemon that are weak to Dragon. However, the Fairy Weakness, um, just when Gardevoir GX is released, is kind of unfortunate and will probably mean this card will not have um, too much breathing room. Uh, during during tournaments. However, um, it being a stage 1 is a decent drawback to the card's strength. Um, the attacks do deal more damage than their equivalent counterparts. Uh, the energy requirements are also different, but um, we're gonna try to make this work. So we are using 4 Noibat of course in order to evolve. Mysterious Beam is the best uh, Noibat available, I believe, simply because um, simply because you get to flip for to discard an energy so you could possibly buy yourself a turn in the early game or in the later stages of the game to try and win out the game. We have a 2-1-1 one, one line of Eevee, Flareon and Vaporeon. Um, these cards allow you to hit for weakness on, the, on things like Volcanians and things like Elizabeths and Decidueyes and Metagross. So that's the idea behind using that support line. And we also have a 1-1 one, one artillery line plus the 2 Lele in order to, to help us stabilize the early game. Now as you can see we're using a very wide variety of supporter cards. We are using our 4 Sigomar, 3N, 1 Lysander and 1 Cosma. However, we are also using some more disruptive cards such as Azerola, I mean not Azerola, such as Team Flur Grunt and Silent Lab. Tinkler Grunt allows us to remove energy, Silent Lab prevents opponents from using their own Tablele or other abilities. And we also have a Bridget in order to help our setup and a Wally for that potential turn 1 Neuvern GX going second or even turn 1 Octillery going first. So there are those options. Um, we're also using a Hex Maniac paired with a Silent Lab to try and slow down our opponent's setups. And we have the uh, for consistency. We have four Ultra Ball, four via Seeker. Now the rest of the cards are our utility, the special charge, as we're only using special energy. The rescue stretcher to recover Pokemon that get knocked out. Um, field blower in order to remove annoying tool cards. Two choice bands to increase our damage output, and three float stones to ensure that we can get um, Noivern up and attacking as quickly as possible because. Even though we are running, uh, we are running for Neubat, It's less. It's more likely that we will not start Neubat because there's five other basic Pokemon than that we will. So that's the reason why we have uh, a bigger count of of Float Stones. Now, Magirna EX is an option for the deck, and I was just thinking, what card we could possibly drop to add the Magirna. However, um, other than a float stone, I don't think we can drop any cards. So I'm gonna keep the list as it is. However, a Magyarna EX would be recommended simply to try to ensure that um, you get protection from Righteous Edge, you get protection from Espion. I mean, you're already running double dragon energy and rainbow, so I don't think there's any harm to running um, the Magyarna. Perhaps the fourth double color list would be a good call. Perhaps the 4th DC would be a good call. Because the main focus are the Double Dragon Energy for sure. Um, 
Okay, so let's see what we're up against here. A water type deck. Potentially. Uh, we get the double Noibat. We are going first. That means we cannot attack, therefore we cannot block item cards immediately. However, we probably won't be using the Flareon, so we can search for Lele, search. Okay, and it is, um... Huh. Okay, this is the thing though. Uh, you cannot attach double dragon energy to Noibats. So, I am actually very tempted. Yeah, and the Professor Kukui, discarding the Kukui is actually a bit unfortunate. So, I'm gonna keep the Kukui. And I'm gonna grab Lele. And the Wally is not prized, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to just Wally my Noibat into Noivern and attach the double dragon energy. We are guaranteed to block item cards since turn two, which is of course really good. We do see one Noivern GX is prized, however, so that could be a problem. And I didn't get to talk about the GX attack from Noivern, so... So, yeah. Um, the Noivern... The Noivern... No, the GX attack from Noivern is... I can't English today, I'm sorry. Uh, the Noivern GX attack... <laughs> Noivern's GX attack is pretty decent um, in that it hits every single Pokemon, but it's more suited to a spread type of deck. And wow, double elixir turn one by my opponent, but nothing else. Okay, so we're gonna stop item cards immediately, and we can start powering up a Lele in order to to threaten the Lapras's. So Lele uh, has two functions here. Lele will aid us in our setup and is also a pretty good late game finisher. So yeah. No more item cards on the opponent. He does get to collect, but we will start getting the first hits in. And without water patches, super scoop ups, or max elixirs, my opponent's setup should be decently hindered. Now I definitely don't want to just waste my Via Seeker, there's nothing I really need. I mean, um, a Choice Band would definitely be welcome here. A Choice Band would definitely be welcome, but I'm not gonna 2-hit KO the Lapras no matter what, I think. So might as well just power up the other Noidburn, have it ready, and just keep using Discord, uh, this tort, this tort, yeah. So yeah, pretty straightforward deck. Um, the AV lines are there to aid us in our damage output. No energy by my opponent, just another collect. And I'm gonna attach the floatstone. I kinda don't even want to attach it to the Lele just because I probably want a choice band there. There's only two choice bands, however. Mm, all the more reason to not attach the floatstone. And benching the AV just to attach the float stone makes no sense. So I'm just gonna stick over here. Um, I also get a silent lap, which is pretty good. I do manage to find the choice band. And I also find another rainbow energy to attach to the Noivert and uh, make sure we keep getting the disturbed. So yeah, a 3 hit KO is in the books for us. My opponent cannot retreat the Lapras thanks to the silent lap. And we should be good, yeah. We just keep using Collect. Uh, that means we will get a knockout on the Lapras. That Lapras is not a threat at all for us. Um, we cannot use our own Tapu Lele, so there's that drawback um, for the Silent Lab. But yeah, I feel like we can definitely... We're getting very far ahead and the tools for my opponent to make a comeback such as um such as 
Aqua Patch and Max Elixirs, they're not available to my opponent just now. And worst comes to worst, if that's the only Lapras he has available, um, I have the Guzma ready for whenever he uses a GX attack, which is really good. And I can just break the lock and use Sonic Volume, which will allow me to 2-hit KO the Lapras. So yeah, we're pretty good here. We are pretty good and we can see the strength of a turn 2 lock going. Yep, there's the energy, we're gonna see a nice beam GX, no end to go with that, therefore our Guzma will save us here. Um, I don't know why it asked you to choose a bench problem from your opponent when you only have one. Um, and yeah, I'm not going to retreat. I'm also not going to attach the energy. I kind of do want to bench the Remorade, but for now I'll just distort and should be pretty close to securing the match here. Whenever I do break the lock, I really doubt my opponent will have will have a chance to do much. And yeah, he uses Blizzard Burn and doesn't even get a knockout here. He's 20 short. So, huh. I'm going to touch the other double rainbow. But see, the thing is, my opponent cannot attack in theory. But if I just get rid of everything he currently has, I'm going to end this turn to get rid of all the cards he has. Um, yes, I, it will result in me having less cards, but I'm basically eliminating a very, very big threat here. The threat, and yeah, the Acer getting the Acerola right there is super, super nice. So I'm gonna Sonic Volume, get the knockout here. Now I'm down to one prize card. My opponent has to promote a Mana Fee, and he needs like triple Aqua Patch onto a Lapras. Well, there's the first Lapras. So yeah, even doing that, I don't think. We're in a bad position. There's the first Aqua Patch. Oh, there's the second Aqua Patch. There's a Rescue Stretcher for another Lapras. There's an Ultra Ball, probably for a Lele. We know the last card in my opponent's hand. Oh wow, a Palkia actually. It's a Lapras, so he has Lapras, Palkia, and that's it. And that's the game. <laughs> yeah, pretty strange turn by my opponent. Uh, but yeah, we got a pretty solid win right there. So let's jump into the ladder once again for another match. See if we can See if we can get more things going here. We can do as well as we just did. And yeah, you compensate for the low damage output with um, with the ability to lock down your opponent. So psychic colorless now, which means potentially means potentially Garbodor. I don't think it can mean anything else right now. We're going second and we have the top of the So getting a Neuburn, a Neubat rather, would have been really cool. Because we have the Neuburn. Um, what? My opponent just flips over a Drowsy. What is this? <laughs> what is this? Am I going to regret not having the Magyarna? I am probably going to regret not having the Magyarna, aren't I? Kiawi? What? What? I don't... What? Um, 
I don't even know what's happening here. One, two, three, four, five, six. 120, yeah, no. I'm not even going to attach energy to it lately. Well, that's very strange. Okay, so, yep. Don't get a good hand off of the end. We are no longer running well here. Hmm. A Snorlax GX sleeping deck. What? And we probably lose to this because because of our terrible start. Okay, 110 damage. We can hit for 140, 140 back. However, I might just have to quick draw. <laughs> um, yeah, this is pretty bad. Pretty pathetic. Magic Sam, what kind of deck is this? What the heck is going on? I have no idea what the heck is going on. <laughs> but our hand is so bad that we're actually going to end up struggling against this. <laughs> and he has a cold stone immediately. My opponent has yet to use any supporter. He just started with Hypno, started with a double supporter. I mean the double floatstone. Let's see a Lysander here. Nope. Okay, can we top deck to not lose to this crazy deck? And no, we cannot. Okay, so let's just jump into the ladder for a different match. Sad to lose a streak that way though. <laughs> Very sad to lose a streak that way. Very, very sad. But it happens. Okay, we lose the coin flip once again. However, that doesn't mean... That doesn't mean... It's bad because we can we have the chance of getting a turn one Neuburn. A chance of getting a turn one Neuburn. Okay. So we just mulligan once. There's a Neuvat. However, no Ultra Wall and no Wally here. We have to hope for an N or a Wally top deck or an Ultra Wall top deck. And we're up against Volcanion. So we'll have to see if the EV tech does anything for us. Um. Denying special energy doesn't make sense here. Oh boy. <laughs> Denying special energy doesn't make sense. And my opponent just upright sycamores here. Without the Wally, we also definitely lose the double dragon energy. The Brooklet heal is nice because we can find the Remoraid, however. Um, We're gonna lose the artillery anyways. And we draw a Team Flurry Grunt away. So Team Flurry Grunt could potentially buy us a turn. Remory is prized. So Team Flurry Grunt can buy me a turn. Is it worth it? I mean, flipping heads and the Team Flurry Grunt, that would actually be okay, I think, right? 
So let's go for the Mysterious Beam. We do flip head, so double energy discard. And next turn, I'll have the Sycamore. I mean, if I Sycamore and I didn't get any basics, that would have been game. And we only had four Noibat and two Leilies. And for Ultra Bull, I guess. So 10 outs, that's not bad. My opponent just outright goes for the Kiawi. <laughs> oh no, I had EV as well. So I did have a ton of outs, but we'll see. And yep, the, um, the 10 damage from the Rainbow Energy is actually pretty awkward. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll attach that. And now I'm going to Sycamore, hoping to find a Noidburn and another basic Pokemon. Okay, so we do. We do find Noidburn and another basic Pokemon. The Vaporeon is also priced, so we are never going to win this match, anyways. And I mean, at least we go for the Distort here. So we need my opponent to not have a fire energy for steam up. If he does, that's pretty much game. If he doesn't, we might, very small might have a chance here. But no, he just outright sycamores. Um, lose a Ho, a Starmie, and Max Elixir. There's three fire in the discard pile. There's four in play that only leaves a potential between six and seven. But yeah, there's a steam up. So the rainbow energy kind of hurting us. A little bit. I mean, it allowed us to survive, right? Kind of. And yeah. If I Sycamore here away these two double dragons, that's going to be really bad. But apparently, I don't have a choice. So I probably won't even be able to, to attack next turn. Because finding Noivern and the last double dragon is very unlikely. And yeah, I'm just gonna concede here, guys. Let's try to find a better game. One last better game. Otherwise, well, maybe this deck consistency is just not up to par. Um, when you don't find Lele or Rule Trouble, you really do struggle. And we lose the coin flip once again. So, try to see this as a glass half full kind of thing, because we can potentially uh, get the turn one Noivern going. And we're up against Greninja. So the turn one Noivern, probably very important here. AV line is once again useless. When it wasn't going to be useless, the, the Vaporeon was priced, but we never even had a chance to set it up. And my opponent, oh no, we mulligan two more times. Okay, but we do have the turn one uh, Noivern potential. So hopefully my opponent doesn't end me. He's gonna draw extra cards from the mulligan. Just one. There's a Froakie, there's a Remory, there's another level ball. For a second Froakie. Please don't end me. Please, please, please don't end me. Okay, awesome. So we are actually going to be able to do this, to pull this off. The bad part here is definitely the fact that, I mean, the Lele could, I mean, the Wally could be priced for sure, and it's not, thankfully. However, bubble flips are a thing. Bubble flips are a thing, and we're not even going to be able to knock out uh, the Froakies in one hit. It's gonna take us two hits. So, despite the item lock, we might not be able to pull this off here. If I had gone first, I would have definitely used Bridget, but we're just gonna use this third now. No item cards for my opponent, so no Dive Balls, no Level Balls, no Ultra Balls, no Rare Candy, no Via Seeker, Octillery, um, he gets it online, but he'll probably struggle to do things with it, and yeah, I probably should have discarded the Bridget instead of the Cosmo, maybe. Um, we do. We do find the Kukui, but not much else. And I definitely cannot um, 
Okay, I'm gonna light under up the artillery because knocking that out seems pretty important. Uh, 10 damage probably won't matter. So let's just distort. Um, I don't wanna use the other attack. This does mean within two turns I will knock out the artillery, which is always good. The opponent seems to have forgotten um, the turn to water duplicates route. And okay, triple frogger here now. We do top deck a noy bat. Um, I could Gosma, but no, there's no reason to do that. I could lie under no reason. I could Wally, yeah, I think going for the Wally is the right play here, so I get the most out of my out of my special energy here. Yep. Touch the double dragon for sure, and then take a knockout with this tort. And yeah, my bunch should struggle with a VS with no VS seekers and no access to die holes. It should be pretty good for us. There's a water energy, there's a sycamore, okay. And there's a victory, so there we go. The item lock being super, super strong, guys. And yeah, it seems like the games we got the Noivern out early with a backup one, we did decently well. Volcanion was definitely going to be a bad matchup for us. Um, definitely more testing needs to be done to see how effective the Vaporeon could be. And yeah, this will be all from me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to leave a like on the video if you can. It would be really, really appreciated. And I will be seeing you guys tomorrow for more of these updated decks. Um, <clears throat> as we are on the final countdown to Worlds. Thank you guys so much and bye-bye.